If you were to ask Chrysler five years ago about this car, they'd say they never built it. In 1964, Chrysler wanted to win in NASCAR very badly. They decided to go back to the engineering board and build a Hemi to go racing. They wanted to win Daytona. Dodge and Plymouth Hemi powered cars finished the top five places. Chrysler wanted to go all guns on the thing. The bean counters got involved and they said, hey, we're just gonna allow them in the high-end versions of these cars. A few people ordered 67 Hemis in lower line cars and somehow got away with it and they built them. And uh, one day I was flipping through a Hot Rod magazine and there's a picture of this car on a trailer and it said 1967 Belvedere 1 426 Hemi. It was in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I made a phone call and verified the VIN number as RL21 and he sent me a photograph of it and we verified it was real. I called my buddy Jim and I said, Jim, you gotta hear about this car. So he went out to Santa Fe and picked the car up. One day he called me and he goes, Scott, he goes, you ever heard of Judy Lilly? I said, no. He said, well, I was sanding on the car and I got through the first layer of paint and there's this woman's name written on the C pillar. So we did some research and we found out that Judy was not only a racer, but she was sponsored by Chrysler. They built it specifically for her. And in the years since, only two others have been discovered. So it's one of three 67 Hemi four-speed Belvedere's. That's one of none, because they say they never built the things. And then it's Judy Lilly's factory race car on top of that. Jim's sitting there looking at it, and he was just so excited. So he put effort into making the car as original as it could be to the day it was first raced. And there's some really unique things about the car because of how it was built for Judy. Factory Engineering was working on the new ROWO program, which was the 67 race Hemis that didn't come until the spring of 67. This car was built in October, so it was sort of a mule car to that test project. They built a hood scoop that was to be found on those later cars. The car was restored by Jim. He's the best in the country. It's slathered in NOS parts. The interior's original upholstery. I mean, it's just immaculate. Dick Landy built the Hemi in this car before he passed away. It's never been driven or run, so it's a zero mile car. We went ahead and had him build it to uh, street Hemi standards, which is how these cars were delivered new. But it has headers and they're open, so it still has the race feel to it. But you can drive the car on the street if you ever wanted to. Everything on the car is done from the ground up undercarriage, under the hood, interior, it's just like a new car. And then the race lettering was added by a professional who copied photographs that we found of the car, so everything's accurate. It's just a, a fantastic example of a super rare car and historically valuable. Pappy Fry was her sponsor in Colorado. She actually had another dealer at a different time, so it's been painted in two different schemes, but this is the one that most people are familiar with. It's an authentic car. It's got all of the original paperwork. The build photograph file is three inches thick on this car. For 67, they didn't have the VIN number stamped on the engine and transmission. They were just dated for the car, which these are. It has the original fender tag. It's got the original door VIN that has never left the car. The front and rear numbers on the car match, uh, which is the order number in 67. So you've got one on the radiator core support, and you've got one right behind the bumper bracket here on the back of the car. The sedans have a stiffer chassis, which is probably why Chrysler chose that for Judy. It's just a really basic, bare bones, all business, Hemi four speed in a box. And I like that. The tires are reproduction Hurst Racing Slicks, which is a company in Oregon that started remaking some of these antique tires. So it's really cool that they exist. It's got Keystone mag wheels on it. This set on the car were used in the reveal of the car. The original Keystones come with the car that are currently being refurbished. Jim wanted to sell one of his cars, and I think it was someone contacted me looking for a 67 Hemi car, and I called him thinking he might know of one for sale, and he said, well, how about the Judy Lilly car? I said, you wouldn't sell that car, and he said, well, if the money was right, I might, and uh, he sold the car to a guy, and his, he lives in Montana. Well, that's been about 10 years ago, and he's had a life change, so he wanted to move the car, and we stayed friends. So he asked me if I would help him uh, represent the car. Be sure to get your bid in today at HemmingsAuctions.com. And if you have any questions, please be sure to post them in our comments section so answers can be provided promptly.